Someone found a bottle of Mountain Dew from 1992 that would have won them a brand new Super Nintendo. That'd have been about my luck. Parents today, text me when you get there. Text me the names of the kids who are there. Text me when you're coming home. Parents in the 80s. Bye. Cartridges when I was a kid. Versus cartridges now. Yeah, we didn't inhale. I'm this old. Yeah, every Walmart you went to had an entire wall of aquarium fish. 1975, off to school. 2024, back to bed. Y'all wanna cut me off in traffic? I got something for you. Too bad these aren't real. There are more years between Ghostbusters and today than the years from the end of World War II and Ghostbusters. Don't blame me for making you feel old. This information actually came from one of the comments left on a previous episode. All I did was make it into an official meme. My kids keep asking for a cat, so tonight we're watching Pet Cemetery. I think I need an eye test. Thought this was Bert from Sesame Street. Well, can't blame you. Looks pretty darn good from here. Add sweet southern nectar, enjoying iced tea in my finest southern crystal. In the south, this was definitely an 80s thing. But I don't think it ever ended. It's just as good today as it was back then. Kids haircuts today. Haircuts when I was a kid. Not an iPhone in sight. That's how we rolled. Well, there is kind of a good reason for that, but yeah. Kids today want the latest iPhone. I remember wanting this pen. And the versions that followed, I think I know there was one that had eight colors, and I think there might have been one with 16. Better time, 1970. Dinner time, 2024. Not really. Most people don't even really use a dinner table altogether anymore. I've made a terrible discovery. These days, all they do is take the plots from old movies change the names of the characters, make it look completely different, what have you, and just call it a new movie. Long ago in a land far, far away. And a time even further away. Name something you learned in school you've never used in your adult life. Algebra. It's garbage. But today, you'd be hard pressed to name something that they teach in school that would actually be useful in life. 80s and 90s fashion. His poor grandma smoked a ton to get little Kenny that jacket. The slanted mirrors on the top of supermarket shelves that let you be able to see what was in the back. My cousins were one of the reasons my childhood was so awesome. I feel sorry for people who didn't have that. I spent the best evenings of my life unaware they were significant. That's a very true statement. Nowadays, kids don't even know how to tell time with an analog clock. Adulting looked way more affordable in the 80s and 90s. I feel cheated. These days, if you can get by from one check to the next and be able to pay all of your bills and buy groceries without having to max out your credit card every single month, you're doing awesome. If you know what this is, you're getting old. This is William Cat today. But what was he known as in the 1980s? Though a friend of mine works at a car dealership, a young person came with an older car 
and wanted to know why his iPhone charging port is scratching his screen and not charging. This is just sad. Finally, some children without cell phones. If you know why this is awesome, then you had a great childhood. Watching Grease as a kid and thinking you'd grow up to be like Sandy. And now, you're realizing you're Rizzo. Which game would you play first? I don't know. To be completely honest, it'd be a showdown between Super Mario and Tetris. Jenny's number is 867-5309. But the world will never know her area code. On a thread that I found this on, there was actually an ongoing heated debate about this. What was the first major news story you remember as a child? Jack Hanna's End of the Wild Getting older really sneaks up on you. My grandson asked me why I had such a small Tupperware containers. How many people use the 35mm film canisters for all kinds of stuff? A lot of times I'd use them for the tiny screws that goes to motherboards and other computer parts. But I used them for a lot of other various stuff too. A question by young Japanese caught a buzz in Japan. Why is the save button on Microsoft Excel represented by the picture of a vending machine with purchase drink at the bottom? That's pretty darn funny. And once you look at it from that perspective, I can kind of understand why they think that. Interviewer, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Me. Hard to believe there was a time where this was all we needed. Stuff is overrated. I don't need much more even today. The glory of owning a Diamondback, Arrow, Redline, Hutch, Mongoose, Skyway, or Dino in the 80s. Don't tell me you're an 80s kid if you don't know what alien movie this is. Little Monsters. Hadn't thought of that movie in a long time. I was telling my son about Louis Armstrong, and he said, what's his website? Kids these days will never understand that Louis Armstrong does not have a website. Back in the 80s, when two-tone vehicles were the norm. This is a late 80s Ford truck. Probably an 88 or 89. Nice truck, though. These were so good, and almost impossible to open. One of these has to go. If I had to choose, Back to the Future is non-negotiable. It has to stay. The other three are kind of harder. I'd have to keep cop. I can't talk. I'd have to keep Top Gun, and I'd have to keep Ghostbusters. So I guess that means E.T. You're going home. What movie would you guys choose to go? Drop it down in the comments. Kids today will never know the struggles of landing that needle perfectly between two songs. Well. I don't know how the modern record players work today. I never owned one of the new ones. I'm assuming they basically work the same, just with modern cable connections. Of course, most kids don't use them. The new record players and stuff like that is pretty much for our generation, just on a nostalgia level. I told an 18 year old the other day that I used to get Netflix delivered to me in the mail and I'm pretty sure she thought I was lying. In my mind, this was 40 years ago. In my heart, it was yesterday. The good old days. Here where I live today in southern Missouri, I seriously doubt the kids would be digging out the holes like that. There's just far too much rock in the ground. Although given enough time, they can make paved highways with it. Admit it, we've all done this while eating mac and cheese. That is true. The perfect 
Windows Crash, or at least Internet Explorer. How many of you guys actually use Internet Explorer? Or nowadays they call it Microsoft Edge. The only time I ever use it is when Windows opens a website on its own. I'd pretty much use any browser besides Internet Explorer, because I still hate it even to this day. How many of you guys actually remember this TV show? I was cleaning out some stuff over in my barn the other day, and I had a tool set that was still in its original box. I opened it up and looked in there, and this was the instruction video that came with it. Who else is this old? Yeah, that and older. I got carted at the liquor store and my Blockbuster card accidentally fell out. The cashier said, never mind. Remember when you'd accidentally hit the internet button on your flip phone? And in the 20 minutes it took to open, you were charged $70? These days, this would be called OCD. How many people had these? The one I had looked a little different than this. Basically, it looked like some fish gravel or something that it came with. You put it in this little tank and fill it with water, and they grow these instant crystals. Evil Knievel, the original daredevil, and social influencer. To some degree, it's probably his fault about a lot of the stupid things we've done on our bikes, skateboards, and other. If anybody needs Taylor Swift tickets, this guy will take care of you. For the people that know who this guy is, I seriously doubt that you need Taylor Swift tickets. If you know who he is, smash some buttons on your keyboard and put it in the comments. Nestle's Quick that came in a tin container and required a spoon to pop open its lid. It just tasted a lot better than the Nestle Quick that they got today. Happy endings? There are no happy endings. Life is an uninterrupted series of humiliating failures. Well, that's just the least of it. Okay. Hear me out, an old-fashioned candy necklace, but with tons and ibuprofen. I'd have to have all my prescription meds, along with Excedrin migraine. What other things would you guys add to it? Kids these days playing music loud on their phones are the worst. Meanwhile, in the 80s. Only thing is, back then, on a boombox, it was loud enough to actually sound pretty good. These days, if someone is sitting over from you playing music on their phone, it just sounds like high-pitched crap noise. Now, it's a different story if you're playing it on a Bluetooth speaker or a set of headphones. But none of them still don't sound like the good boombox. And far better yet, your home stereo system. Take a movie or TV show and take out a word and replace it with... Cookie! Now here's something I didn't know and I found it really interesting. And this is actually a true story. I went and looked it up. Mel Blanc, the voice of Bugs Bunny, and at least 399 other characters, was in a serious car accident that put him in a coma. After many unsuccessful attempts to get him to talk, the doctor asked, Bugs, can you hear me? Mel responded in Bugs' voice. What's up, Doc? They use this technique to lead him out of his coma. Hey guys, wanna feel old? I'm 40. You're welcome. It's my gift to the world. I make people feel old. I'm no longer a kid. That's my job. Texting in the 80s. This is another photo I found of the Mr. Mouth game that I mentioned about in the last episode. I never saw this before, and I don't know what the heck this thing looks like, 
But that's supposed to be Play-Doh Barbie. I don't know where they get that that's supposed to look like Barbie, but whatever. What we think of when you say a 50-year-old truck. An actual 50-year-old truck. That's just sad. My dad had a 77 Ford that he completely rebuilt, and he painted it blue and white. It wasn't a sky blue, but it wasn't a real dark blue either. Really nice looking truck. Growing up in my generation, all weekends started with this, and all weekends ended with this. How many of y'all got friends from 30 years ago? I don't have friends from five years ago. My boss asked me where I see myself in five years. Pretty much. That, that basically sums it up. I was really outside as a kid. Not even by force. They had to force us to come in. Nowadays, it's the complete opposite. They have to force them to even go out. But anymore, they don't even force them to go out. They don't want them to go out. They want them to stay inside in their safe space. Of course, with as bad as the world has gotten to these days, I can't completely blame them, especially depending on where you live. I'm the age where craft time at school was making ceramic ashtrays, and everyone was like, what a nice idea for a present. Now, maybe it's just the Generation Z in me, but how did people burn CDs? Like, how did you just get a blank CD and put songs on it? There are people alive that don't know how to burn CDs. I'm old. And the thing is, you can still buy CD burners. And you can still buy blank CDs. And people still use them. Of course, there were people that still used 8-tracks long after their popularity was gone. Does any of you watching this video still eat Sloppy Joes? That was one that I didn't really care for even as a kid. I'd drown it in mustard, but uh, no, not really. I, I actually can't remember the last time that I ate a Sloppy Joe. Approximately 40 years ago, Tom Jones wrote a song called She's a Lady. Despite the fact he's not a biologist. It's a sad time we're living in when something like this can actually sort of be considered a funny meme. I showed this game in a previous episode, but it didn't have the box and I couldn't remember the name. So I asked all of you if you remembered what the name of the game was. And it was a whole bunch of you that posted that it was Fireball Ireland. And you were correct. So thank you for helping me remember that. If you remember this, your childhood was awesome. It's been 42 years, and we still have no clue how far he ran. If you know who this is, and what this is referring to, heck, at the keys, and leave a comment below. Can someone explain this tweet to me? Why did it take so long? And what is Napster? On this day, 15 years ago, my mom picked up the phone and interrupted a file at 96%. I'd been downloading from Napster for 17 hours. Yeah, that sounds about right. We thought we was really getting into some speed when it only took about 10 or 15 minutes for each song. These always made a nice sound when you hitch your sibling with them. I'm at that age where we drive through a busy intersection. And I tell you, I remember when it was just a stop sign and all this was empty fields. Not a cell phone in sight, just people living in the moment. Click on one of the videos above to help support the channel. Please hit that like button and subscribe. I thank you all for watching. This is Acorn. Over and out.